For this example, we're going to do a paired t-test. Now remember, a paired t-test is when you have one group of participants that you're measuring twice. So in this case, I have a competency score when employees start a job, and then I have their competency score after 12 months. So the same group of people with two different scores. That means the scores are not independent, so I cannot do an independent samples t-test. So let's go to our analyze menu compare means and choose paired samples t-test. We're going to choose our two variables from the list on the left. I want the first competency score and the last competency score. And you can see it's shown me my first pair. Now we can run multiple paired t-tests at the same time, so I could add more pairs here if I wanted to. I also have the option to change the confidence interval. By default it's 95%, but you could adjust that to say 90 or 99%. I'm going to leave it at 95. Click continue and then click OK. Now this is the output of our paired samples t-test. I've got three tables. The first one is my descriptive statistics with mean, standard deviation, and standard error. The second is a correlations table and the third is the results of our paired t-test. And we're going to look at the results of our t-test in the next video.